Blessings to you in the second week of Advent as we come together for my weekly reflection on faith, justice, peace, and community. My prayer is that these reflections might stir within you a greater desire to come to know the God of love, beauty, mercy, justice, and peace, seeking to be fed in order to better serve our God. In our first re readings each Sunday during Advent, the prophet Isaiah presents us with wonderful images of hope and renewal. Perhaps something we need more than ever in this time of COVID. This Sunday, we hear Isaiah in chapter 61, verses 1 to 2a, proclaiming with joy what he knows God has called him, Isaiah, to do. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me, he has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. In the gospel, we again hear John the Baptist living out his mission in his dialogue with those who have sought him out in the desert. John offers comfort, but also challenge to his audience. Repentance means not only acknowledging that there are things, patterns we need to change in our lives, but expressing our sincere sorrow for the ways that they have prevented us from proper self-care and care for others, especially care for those closest to us. And it means that relying on God's assistance, we will replace those bad habits with new positive ways of living and loving. I encourage each and all of us to take an inventory of the things we need and want to change. God already knows them, but acknowledging them ourselves is a good first step on the path to healing, wholeness, and integrity in our own lives. As we do this, hopefully each of us will hear God say to us those same words or similar words that Isaiah proclaims today. I want you to listen to this as if God is talking to you my spirit, the spirit of the living God, rests upon you because I have anointed you. On my behalf, bring glad tidings to the poor, heal the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to captives, and release to those imprisoned physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Go out and announce a time of favor from the Lord and a day of healing, renewal, and replenishment by your God. On behalf of the Catholic family here in St. Agatha, I want to wish all of you a continued blessed Advent. Thank you for the ways that you continue to allow the Lord to work through you. Please join us this Sunday for our regular services, either in person or online. In the meantime, be blessed and filled with the peace of Jesus Christ. Thank you. And in all things, be blessed.